let's all remember, when this was announced, we all thought, dumb, ridiculous. Why does Ted, of all people, need a TV show? A prequel also, back to John and the days in high school and all that. It's like, I guess that could be something. But it's like, going on Peacock, a.k.a. The Cock. Come on, nobody thought it was good. I bet I could, like, not... It'll probably take too much time. But I, I bet if we go back to the tweet of when it was first announced, you'll see nothing but people going, nope, nope, no, nope, dumb night, dumb idea. Think of something original. This is stupid. Da, 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 da. We were all thinking that. And so I wasn't thinking much of it, but I was curious to see at least one episode, right? Because it's like, I like the Ted movies. Uh, I thought they were really funny. I'm a big fan of Seth MacFarlane. I think his humor just like seems to hit me in a way where no other humor has done so in a while, especially now. In, in, in the day's age of sensitivity content and all that. So I was like, I'm, I'm just going to check out one episode. I'm just going to check out one episode. See how it goes. Looking forward to it. Day one drop. Show's freaking hilarious. This thing is so funny. And the thing that caught me off guard at first with, with the TED series is honestly how much it was like Family Guy. This is like a live action Family Guy TV series from the transitions to the jazzy music. Whenever you go from like an exterior shot of the Ted house to the school or wherever they are, it feels exactly like an episode of Family Guy where it's like, like exactly like that. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. You know, Seth MacFarlane, Family Guy. The, uh, and then there was a the dynamic of the family. I was kind of upset they, they replaced the mom and dad because uh, I do like the actors who played the mom and dad in the original Ted. Let's see if I can pull them up. Original mom and dad Ted. Let's see. Oh, Yed. <laughs> Silly me. It was uh, an actor by the name of Ralph Garman and another actress that was in the, um, in the Mad TV show. Uh, Ted... Uh, parents. I don't know. Let's see if we could pop them up. Uh, dang, it doesn't pop them up. But it was it was basically uh, it was an actor by the name of Ralph. Uh, I'll, I'll just search up Ralph Garman then. That'll pop up. Ralph Garman, who I think is oh there we go. These were the original parents in the Ted movie. This is what this is who they were, and both of them I like. I remember her in the Mad TV days. I like Ralph Gar Garman from the Kevin Smith podcast. So when I saw they were going to get replaced, I was like, oh, that, that's such a shame. Dude, I freaking love the mom and the dad. The mom is this submissive, like, oh, geez, yeah, honey. Uh, let's anything happen. Roll on by her. But she is so sweet and adorable. Susan, we love you. The dad. He is an a-hole, but he is one funny a-hole. There is an episode in this show where he brings to life his own childhood toy, which the the Ted lore just got interesting with that alone. There's another living toy doll out there, and it's a truck. And this uh, that entire episode and what happens between him and that truck is gold. Um, I was also hesitant about this little kid playing Mark Wahlberg because obviously he doesn't really look like a young Mark Wahlberg. Not to say the kid isn't handsome, but it's like, eh. Kid really grew on me as the series went on. I think he was phenomenal. The only character early on that I was just like, I'm not feeling you. I'm just not with it was uh, Blair, the cousin. So they added on this cousin who lives with them because I guess she's estranged from her family. Never mentioned any of the Ted movies, but if they make Ted 3, you need to add Blair in the future now somehow. But I didn't love her episode, the first couple episodes, because she felt like the obvious a PC person to point out, hey, you can't say that. It's the 90s. Times have changed. You know, the, the type of person, so you can make edgy jokes and she could be the balance of like the, the fun police of like, hey, you, you can't say that about black people. You can't say that about Mexicans. You can't do that. And it's like, I, there was a part of me that's like, I understand. If you're going to make inoffensive jokes, make them funny. And I feel like Seth MacFarlane does a good job of that, where he can attack everything that people would find sensitive today and make something humorous about it without being mean-spirited. So I felt like a character wasn't needed. But as it continued on and she played in more and the way she protects Susan, uh, uh, the, the mom here and like is really for her. And then some of like the hypocritical things she does. There's one episode where she's like trying to get this job with... um. With a, t with a professor from her school and all that. Like, I actually really grew to like Blair by the end of the show. When the first couple episodes, I could have done without Blair altogether. Uh, 
especially since like she's someone you just never heard of in the movies. She felt like an obvious addition. So by the end of this all, this show was a major success in my opinion. Like, like it's surprising how funny this all came out. And like, again, the humor is top notch. I saw an interview with Seth MacFarlane recently where he talked about recently with his shows, cause he did American dad, family guy, and now the Ted series. Anytime he's involved with something, he says he gives a hundred percent to it. So while he was doing the Ted show, he was not working on Family Guy. He wasn't working on American Dad. He was 100% committed to the humor and the jokes in Ted. And I feel like you could really tell. I like Family Guy, but I've seen some of the newer stuff, and it just doesn't hit the same. It's not as funny. It's gotten very repetitive with the random cutaways and jokes. Like, they're like, I some older Family Guy was a little bit funnier to me. This felt really refreshing in a way. Like, it's still kind of that, like, Seth MacFarlane uh, familiar humor but it, it, it's done in such a, such a great way. I hope they do a season two. Seth says, you know, he'll only do it if it's popular enough and things like that. Uh, but it was also funny to me because I brought it up here. Let me see if I can get on Twitter. Uh, the most Ted ended up becoming the most watched uh, TV series on Peacock, which someone did bring up a good point. Like, what was the competition? Like, what was the other show on Peacock? Is it Twisted Metal, I guess, would have been it? Because last we heard it was Twisted Metal, but it said here Ted became the most watched original title. Oh, original title in the history of Peacock. You always got to be careful with these streaming services when they say things like this, like original title. They get such a specific mark, and that's how they could say it's the number one. Next show they come out with, it could be the most watched show with a girl who wears a cowboy hat. It's like, oh, well, it was the most watched show. But either way. I thought it was funny, and I pointed it out. I was like, the most watched movie was Five Nights at Freddy's. The most watched show was Ted. Conclusion, we like crazy teddy bears that come to life. Even Ted himself responded to me. He said, take that, Fozzie, you no-talent hack. So overall, if you have not watched the Ted show, get you a Peacock subscription. Do something. Watch it. It is so funny and hilarious. I laughed my butt off. I, also, the CGI on Ted freaking phenomenal it is as good as it is in the movies there's some scenes with ted where i'm like how is the cg so good this bear looks so real i also love the theme song theme song is so cozy my friends are happy everybody needs a best friend oh it's such a cozy show i liked it big win big surprise this just goes to show you when something stupid is announced like this like uh you know like a ted t prequel tv series in the works and everybody including me was hesitant and thought it was dumb this is the outcome. Best case scenario, it turns out to be a really fun, watchable show. I hope we get at least a couple more seasons out of it because I like the humor in it. Uh, but if this was terrible, we just would have said it was terrible and moved on like that Velma show. So that's my thoughts on the TED series. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. All right, let's move on now to some other things going on. Oh, jeez. You want to talk about the Pinocchio horror movie? 